Hello, wonderful people of the world. How are you doing today? I hope all is well with you and your loved ones. I welcome you back to our positive word. The word in focus today. Today is day 120. I can't believe it's already 120 days of this positive word movement. I give God all the glory for his grace and mercy that has seen me through until today. The word in focus today is temple. Temple. The word temple ordinarily means a location, a place where people gather to worship. Various sects, religious groups in the world have various places that they regard as their temple, they gather there to worship. I'm looking at the word temple as us, the individual in relation to God. I know that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us that we are the temple of the living God. So as temples of the living God, how should we comport ourselves? How should we live our lives? A temple is kept clean, pure. It's a, it's a place where, where <clears throat> nothing evil should be part of. It's a sanctified, holy place. That's what we should be. Our lives should be holy, sanctified, such that we will attract other people to the kingdom of God. As temples of God, we're not meant to live for ourselves. We cannot live recklessly like those who do not know Jesus. We're supposed to be light, example. Wherever we are, we're supposed to present ourselves without, without let saying it. People should be able to see the light of God in us. Our works, our actions before our words should present us and people would go for a fact that that's a child of God. So I'm just here today to remind us that we are the temple of the living God. The Bible says this over and over in 1 Corinthians. That know you not that you are the temple of the living God. We do not own our bodies. So the things we do with ourselves, what do you consume that is not right as a temple for our righteous and holy God? How do you speak? What comes out of your mouth? What do you put inside of you? What do you entertain in your thoughts, in your mind? As the temple of the living God we have to renew our minds with the Word of God we have to stay connected through prayers to our Lord because we want this temple to be renewed and kept clean every moment that we are alive dear friends and family as the temple of God we have to deliberately keep ourselves away from the things that we know will desecrate us. The things that will not bring glory to our Lord in heaven. We have to deliberately set ourselves apart. It's not easy for most people. However, the Spirit of God in us will give us the strength, the grace, the ability to live right, to be the example that he wants us to be. I ask you today, ask the temple of God, how are you getting on? How are you keeping yourself pure and holy for God to find you worthy to dwell within? May we all be able to listen and pay attention to the spirit of God in us to help us to present our bodies as living sacrifices unto God. Keep the temple pure because this is what we've been called to be. So we, our lights will shine 
to others. Thank you for your time today. Until I come your way again, I say God bless you. Stay safe. I'll see you later. Bye for now.